Yo, 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 YouTube, what's good? This is Avocados back with another episode of Avocast. Today I'm joined by my good friend Jello, aka Senny, aka Defined, aka the man of many gamer tags. How's it going, brother? I'm doing good, brother. How are you? I'm chilling, man. I can't complain, can't complain. It's been been a bit busy, but you know, I like I like to stay busy. So I feel that. you've been following the COD League at all? A little bit. A little bit here and there. What do you what do you think about the format and everything? Format like the game mode, or not the game mode, but like um, how wait. it's like ran, sort of. Yeah, how it's ran. Um, I don't know. I feel like like it's twenty twenty one, and like you know, there's still like COVID, and like things, like everything's online now, so like like everything is like weirder. But I'm not sure, honestly. Did you see the tweet that Blizzard or Activision put out? Um, it was like we're gonna focus, like, cause they had their like massive like layover or whatever, right? Yeah, they fired like fifty people. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think they they're planning on like firing, maybe like up to two hundred more, like by the end of the year or something. Crazy. And I think like something they said. Let me try to find the tweet actually. Um, they were like. They were like, we're we're gonna plan on focus. We're gonna plan to focus more on. Um, on online tournaments or something. It was something crazy. Oh no, dude. Okay. So here's the article. This is from Sports Business Journal, I think. Uh I found the article. I can't find it for some reason. But they basically said they're like um so this is a quote from the from the article it said he noted that the division which runs the overwatch league and call of duty league is planning for a future where its business will look different and less dependent on live events and that just blew my mind that makes no sense because like the lands were like the biggest part of esports and they still are so like i don't Uh, it's just crazy how they're just gonna fire like a whole bunch of people and then say that. You think there's like a future where esports doesn't go back to LAN and just stays online 100%? You know, like, personally, I don't believe that, like, because COVID is obviously like the main factor of like lands like like stopping and everything like going online yeah i personally don't think that covid is gonna be here forever because you know we've gone through how many other viruses before like it's no different but i wouldn't be surprised if they were like okay let's not do land anymore even though covid's not a thing let's just do online because that's what we're used to you think that's good or bad because like with with online you get all the issues like cheating um definitely um like servers and I, shit like that i don't know that would be a horrible play on them because like just like the vibe that you get from the lands it's just different like online it's just there's so many factors there's like latency there's you know internet there's you know like people can cheat all that other stuff I'm like land there's none of that yeah i forgot did you compete at like a land event yeah which one uh worlds in seattle and then a couple like smaller lands oh you went to like you did like the open right or tried to go to the yeah. open yeah tried to go to the open did that go well <laughs> I, don't, I don't i don't remember if we talked about this ever Wait, the the online open tournament? Uh no, the worlds. Oh, uh I didn't do that well. I was like cuz back then I I didn't really have like the same like you know, competitive mindset that I have now. I was just like, well, well yeah, yeah, since yeah. I'm here, I might as well just play and you know, that's just how it is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely like like infinite once that game drops, dude. I'm going crazy. Oh yeah. I you're gonna be the next. It's like you, Chris. The next big things. 
I can see it. Hopefully, bro. I can see the it. amount of time they'll be putting in that game will be deadly. That's all I'm gonna yeah, say. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, I think like in in a few years I'll be stepping away from esports from like a playing perspective, just because you know it's like it's tough like with the with the shit I do, you know. Um. Oh yeah, well, you're going to college and a lot of the stuff. Yeah, like med school is like definitely like the priority and like a huge time commitment. But you know, um, mm. like I'm always gonna like keep up with the scene. It's just, yeah. I don't know. Like maybe like the first year of Infinite. So what is it like fall, 2021 to like spring, like because that's gonna be like my junior year basically. Um, oh, yeah. I might I might compete for like for fun, and if it goes well, like then maybe something up. Mm. But I honestly don't know. Yeah, man. Honestly, like whatever makes you happy, just go for it. Like whether it's esports or you know getting your medical stuff or any of that, like. Stay to the ground, brother. Yes, sir. That's the mindset. That's the mindset. Um, but kind of jumping forward to speaking of like Halo, um, mm. you know, like when they put out the game, like obviously there's gonna be like um, like that like that launch weekend tournaments and stuff like that. I like I anticipate that happening. Um, yeah, like they do with MCC. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think. Do you think like those are gonna be online? Hopefully, like, I I doubt it. Just. With my like insight from like where we are with like, vaccines and stuff, I I doubt it happens yeah. on land, but um, hopefully. What do you think? Honestly, it's all dependent on the virus. Like, more people get vaccinated, and like the more people, you know, it's like I noticed a lot of stuff like the past year. Like people are just like, oh no, fuck COVID, like. I don't know. Just like stay home, wear your mask. Like it's that simple. Like yeah. And uh, you, hopefully yeah. And then, oh, and PSA, even if you get the vaccine, you can still carry it. So just make sure you're yeah. social distance yeah. and everything. So um. Hundred percent. You know, like the sooner if like like see the thing is like if everyone cooperates on this stuff like the sooner we get back to land and like, the sooner everything gets back yeah. to normal. Hundred percent. But like. It, it just takes it just takes a few people to like fuck up everything, and that's kind of what we saw like when the virus first started. The world effort, bro. That's yeah, literally exactly. all it is. Exactly, one hundred percent. But yeah, going back to Halo, have you been competing in like the H five like cups and stuff like that? Or um, I have not. Like, <laughs> um, like I was going to uh, when was it? It was like February third. I think yeah it's like the season two like first opening like i got a team ready and like we didn't register beforehand on face it so like that was chalked yeah face it is like, not <laughs> it's not not yeah. really a good platform i'll be i'll be 100 percent honest just like I don't, I don't even know it's just like run in such a weird way like you have to register do all this stuff and like mm -hmm. They take forever. Like I don't, I don't know if you watch the like Halo Three tournaments. Um, but I do oh, just I do. cause, uh, just for fun, right? Like I'm not doing anything on the weekends. Might as well relax and watch like Halo Three, and like I watch the H Five Cups as well. But like, dude, those tournaments take forever. They um, do. Like they start at like what eleven or ten in the morning or some shit like that. PST, and then they go until like eleven p.m. PST. Or yeah, something. It's like, like twelve I, hours. I saw my uh my friend. Spartan's tweet, he, like, he was playing from 10 a.m., like, all the way to, like, I think, like, the last game was at, like, 11. Or, Wait, like, is 10, Tyler? Just something ridiculous. Yeah, Tyler Spartan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it was just crazy, like. Jeez. Yeah, and, like, the <laughs> the crazy thing is, like, the longer, the, the further you go into the tournament, like, the longer that shit gets, like. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm a big Sentinels fan, as you know. Like actually, my wallpaper yeah. right now, everyone can kind of see send send up. But like, <laughs> it's 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 crazy. Like those guys, every single weekend, like <laughs> play until like one, like because they're all in like Central or East Coast, so like they're playing until like one or two a.m. every single weekend, which is kind of insane. I mean. If you want to win, you got to do what it takes, so. That is true, that is true. Props to the GOATs who are, you know, winning those. Yeah, for sure. Gilkey, the, like, absolute H3 lord, you know. Oh, Gilkey. 
and then obviously H three team is is pretty nutty too. What do you think about like face it like changing the format like because I know I know look there's been a lot of talk about like oh we need double elimination oh we 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 only need double elimination elimination in the bracket but not in pools and there's just like a mess. Where do you where do you stand on that? I feel like like the pros know everything like when it comes to like the game types and like how everything should be like planned out and played yeah and i feel like no offense to the staff at face but i i feel like they don't really know what they're doing when it comes to like stuff like that you know yeah 100 percent. like I, like i see pros tuning at them all the time and it's just like are they even like listening i uh, i mean the answer is no <laughs> No. But that's been, like, an issue with, like, just Halo Esports for a long time, right? Like, 2016, um, yeah, like, the the World Championship was, like, dope and all that. Like, you get the crowdfunded money. They take away the crowdfunding for some reason. And even though we say bring bring it back, they just don't. Um, and then... You'd imagine if, like, they would have kept that crowdfunding? Because you know, like, how, like, so many people bought those rec packs, like, from launch to now like that's easy like what was the pool like 1.5 mil it was it was 1 million or it was it was 1.5 mil to start and then yeah. or no, no no it was it was 1 million to start and went up to 2.5 mil yeah so like 2.5 imagine what it'd be at now it would be at like god knows how much yeah. 10 mil i wouldn't be surprised it's crazy imagine like because you know like all the like like Presilence and like flamency and all the like those Warzone kids they're probably buying like rec packs left and right. Well, not even that. Just like the average like casual Halo player will see like, oh, this is a pack or, like something <laughs> that I can get in the game, and you know they'll buy it. Have you spent money in rec packs? packs? Have I spent money in rec packs. Uh, I've only bought in team skins. Okay, I don't even. I don't have a single team skin. I've not spent a cent on Rex. Oh. Maybe I'll I should. You. I kind of wish I did. Like, uh, it'd be nice to have like a DLG or optic skin. That'd be yeah, but good. you can't get those anymore. It's 2016. Sad. Yeah. Well, you can get like straight ripping or some shit, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You need like straight ripping supplies, uh, luminosity. Yeah, but I don't. Maybe. I don't want any of those. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the splice ones. The splice ones are kind of like they look nice. Okay. Other, nice. Than, other than that, like, nah, I'll pass. I think the CLG skins are the best. Oh yeah, definitely. And then, like the Allegiant skins are also like pretty dope. Team Liquid's pretty nice. Um, Splice is good. The Envy ones are kind of boring. Yeah, kind of. The Optic pistol skin looks horrible. Like, it looks better on the AR, but like you know, AR starts on a thing anymore. So. Yeah. But that like going back to like this like. 343 not listening like i remember in 2017 like all the pros were like um take out the ar and then they like buffed it oh yeah when they did the whole like sandbox tuning which i think was really unnecessary you know like like a lot of people were complaining about how op the br was mm -hmm. i think snipe down dropped like 42 kills on the end with it <laughs> <laughs> like I was kind of upset myself because I really liked that BR. Like it was perfect. Like the best BR to ever like exist in Halo. Halo 5's pre patch, but yeah. And it the the best thing was like it wasn't like they they knew because it wasn't even like a weapon that you just like had. It, you had to like pick it up on yeah. the map. And yeah. like I was talking to like um Snakebite about this, and he was just like, you know, like if they didn't nerf everything and they just took out all the ARs and then kept like all the all the other weapons like on the map that would have been like really good because like you still have like the strategy of like holding like the setup to get the weapons right and then mm. so being 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 able to do that like adds like complexity to the game because now like you don't really need to pick up anything you just hold forward and shoot your gun yeah and like, <laughs> you win sadly so there's that like aspect of complexity i guess which is missing So, I don't know if you remember, like, the DreamHack Denver, DreamHack Denver settings, but, like, I think those, if you take out, like, Spartan Charge and Ground Pound, those were the best settings. Yeah, 100%. Um, However, like, Ground Pounding a Flag, 
on CTF was pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, being able to just... Yeah, but it was also kind of broken. Like, no one can shoot you when you're doing that. Mm. Plus, you can finesse using the ground pound so easily. Like, you're about to oh, fall yeah. off the map, just hold, hold your melee. Well, that wasn't necessarily a bad thing. It brought a lot to the movement aspect. But, you know... It was also like a one-shot kill guaranteed, right? If you hit the person. Yeah, directly. Yeah. So I can see, I can see why that is kind of broken. And then like Spartan charge, if you hit them from the back, is like a one hit. And if you hit them from the front, it like bounces them and like it makes them one shot, right? So I mean, I can see why yeah. they did it. I feel like if they would have, you know, removed Spartan charge, but like made the ground pound do like half damage, because I'm. I'm a big fan of like the movement aspect, like you can like hover in the air. Yeah. What There's, if like, they a lot more with the movement? What if they made the ground pound not do any damage and it was just like a movement mechanic? I would love that, hundred percent. Be interesting. What do you think of like the the Halo Infinite grapple? Is that like something you're looking forward to, or do you think it's kind of cringe? Oh, definitely, brother. I'm so ready for Infinite. I've been waiting for too long, but. How long have we been waiting? When when did the first like trailer come out? That was like E3 2019? 2018. 18? Yo, we've been waiting like three years for this shit. Holy. Yeah, the one where he was in the... Uh, like when they were in the Pelican in space. Yeah, that was 2018. Crazy. <laughs> I thought... I thought... um That was 20... It might be 2019. I, I thought that was know. 2019. Because 2020 was the the gameplay demo, right? Yeah. There was there was a Halo. There was there was something in 2019. Like now that you say it, or in 2018. Like now that you say it, because there was um. Because I remember it was like summer 2018. I was chilling in a party with my friends. I don't know. 2019 was the one like they introduced like the pilot dude. Oh yeah! No 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 no! It was 20, okay. Uh... 2018 was you know like the one where they showed all the like. Fucking animals and shit. Yeah, yeah, that was twenty eighteen. That was twenty eighteen. We've been waiting since twenty eighteen for this game. Holy yep. shit, that's crazy. In a perfect world, um, Halo, look, like, like they they do the release in uh fall twenty twenty, and it's perfect. Like like there's no like bugs or any shit like that, and they like listen to the community, and then. They drop a BR like now, like November twenty twenty first, or yeah, November twenty twenty one. Like they dropped like the like the Halo Battle Royale. That would be, mm. that would be crazy. That would be crazy. In an alternate timeline, that happened. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. I was just really thinking, like, man, I got the uh, Series X date one. Even though I'm not gonna play Halo on the Series X, because I have a PC. Yeah. Um, I was like, man, I could really play Infinite right now, but. You know, imagine. Did you? It was tough out here, man. Did you like have to buy a scalped one, or like you just get lucky? <sighs> Bought a scalped one, broke the bank, but hey, it was worth How it. How much did it cost? Because it, it's like what five hundred bucks, like retail. Yeah, retail. So probably like I around eight hundred, nine hundred. Seven fifty. Jeez. But you know that's not even the worst part. Um, so I bought a thirty seventy for my PC, mm. and I think I spent. Eight hundred dollars on it. Jeez. I, I bought it from. It, I think the retail is six hundred. So. The retail is five hundred. Is it five hundred? Okay, well, fuck me. Yeah. I had I had the budget. Like I, I was anticipating it was gonna I was gonna have to end up buying it from a scalp person. But like you know, it's better to buy like one of the next gens that are like good. Mm -hmm. Rather than like buy like a twenty sixty and then have them like have like the forty series come out like next year or whatever and then have to upgrade oh, yeah. again. It's just a mess, you know. Yeah, I have a 2060 right now. I'm just waiting for the crypto mine, like, whole thing to stop so I can upgrade uh, the GPU. Do you think that's ever going to stop? Because, like, that's that's shit that, like, will go on forever. Like, crypto mining. Like, even if the COVID ends. Um, like, a lot of miners, you know, buy out all the graphics cards, but you will start to think, like, you know, like NVIDIA and like AMD, they don't release a lot of them. Like launch day, there is maybe like a thousand. Mm -hmm. So, 
I don't know, if they can, like, somehow, like, here's, like, a better plan for them. Like, if they were to just go ham in the factory and just make, like, 10,000, not even that, like, 5,000 or whatever, just release it all at once, a lot more people would have them. Yeah. But I, obviously, like, with COVID, like, there's there was limitations, like, on launch, right? Like, they yeah. couldn't make that many. Mm-hmm. Which is interesting is like even now they're still not making them much. This I'd rather have a video card like delayed so they can produce more rather than like, you know, be sold out like the first second they're live. Yeah. Yeah, I I'd agree with that. I remember like when when the thirty that when was that when did the thirty seventy come out like? Uh. Um, November. It was it was the week of yeah Black Friday, right? Yeah, 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 Black Friday. I remember like the week before, like two weeks before. I just was like, all I did was just check to see if like they had pre-orders. And then like the day of Black Friday, I was just like, (laughs) all I did was just check all the time to see if any were available on a bunch of different websites. That's what I did for. uh... Series X, and like I worked at Costco at the time, so I was like, please make a shipment, but they never did. It was like online only till like a absurd time, so I don't know. Oh. Wait, so where, yeah, did, where had... did you end up buying it from then? Uh, I bought it off of Offer Up. Oh, okay. see, I bought my I bought my 37 off of Stock X. I think it was like 700, but then like they they have like their own like inspection process, and they they do like like a nice delivery or whatever and that that costs like a hundred dollars so it's kind of added just for the inspection yeah because they like ship uh, it it's like like they ship it to like the facility and they like hand check it apparently like that is kind of exp- expensive so that's where like the price is oh my gosh but i mean i have it now my pc is a beast like that's good like it's like the newest ryzen cpu 3070. I'll send you the specs um, on my other computer because I have it on my Mac, but not this computer for some reason. But it's, it's a nice PC. I spent I spent a good amount of money on it. Yeah, I recently upgraded my CPU. I got the Ryzen 7 3700X. 30, yeah, that's good. I think I have the 3750. You have a Ryzen 9? Yeah. What do I have an that's nice. Yeah, I have, I have a 9. I have to check, but yeah. I mean, with Halo, I don't know. Like other other than like the issues that we all have with it, like there's not really that much going on, you know. Really not. Which I feel like gaming is just really dry right now for every single really. Title. I think it's really saturated it's part- actually. Like Valorant, like. Masters is happening oh, right now. For like console FPS, it's oh. like. But it's just that's just COD. That's it. Yeah. Even like Gears of War is kind of not doing so well. Nah. Halo, we just we just don't have a game to play right now. No, definitely don't. Like Reach was cool when it first came out, but like it died after like a couple months. Like after DreamHack, it just died. Yeah, because. Like NBNS is nice and all, but like, and then everyone realized they're playing on a mod, and I don't know. Like, there's just so much more blanks that you get in that game. Bloom is horrible. That's why you can only play NBNS, and but like NBNS has blanks and like server issues. And it was just it was just a mess. Yeah. And it I th- like to me Reach is like the easiest Halo to shoot in. Like everyone can five everyone. Like I can I can five like pros in in, in Halo Reach. Yeah. And I don't know. They made Halo Three kind of similar too, because now that BR is like a laser. Not for me. Really? You don't think so? It's like it's just a little bit better than what it used to be. Like I'll hop in hardcore every blue moon and I'll play. Like I'll be lasered out of my mind, and people still eat. So. I mean, that's just that, might, that, might, I mean that might just be like the West Coast fuckery, you know. 
Mm. I don't know. But there's def- like for me, I I, I definitely saw an improvement because I, I like I I played like oh, yeah, definitely social games and I was just lasering people. Like I was dropping. Like I don't think like the last time I played Halo Five or Halo Three, uh, before that day was like, um, in two thousand like eighteen or like two thousand seventeen <laughs> or some shit like that, just for fun and. I was just like I was dropping like twenty five kills as layer or some shit, and it was just like, huh, interesting. But I can't get games of hardcore anymore because like, you know they have like resets, like they have seasons and like. Yeah. But like I don't know when the new seasons come out, so I always like miss the, like like the time when everyone is grinding to get to like their rank twenty or or rank thirty or whatever, and yeah. then I end up just getting stuck as rank one, and you can't you can't get games. Mm-mm. So, I just stopped playing like MCC because I want to play ranked if I'm gonna play. No one there. You feel like there's MMR in every other game too, besides Halo Five. Um, not in Social Halo Three. Like in Social Halo Three, there's 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 like kids without thumbs like every single game. Hmm. I feel like. For some reason, like, there's hidden MMR in every single game I play. Like, Cold War. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, yeah, because yeah. Cold, 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 so Cold War actually has what, hidden MMR. Like, it's it's yeah. skill-based matchmaking. And then, like, any ranked pilots in MCC, yeah. hidden MMR. Destiny 2, definitely hidden MMR. Oh, De- yeah, but they, like, announced that. Cause Quick Play, uh-huh. in Destiny 2, Quick Play had skill-based matchmaking. And then I remember I was, I think, like, I averaged, like, maybe 30 kills a game. Like, in, like, 66, right? Not bad, and then they took out SBMM, and then I started mm-hmm. I started getting like fifty to sixty kills a game. Like like I went from like thirty to forty to like fifty. It was like a very big jump. Like I was getting and montage staging. clips every game. Like it, it was it was kind of insane. And then they put it back in. Yeah, and like sometimes I'll play freelance survival, and I play against like it feels like I'm playing against a team of three. Yeah. Every single game. Yeah, it's cause it's cause there's this skill based matchmaking. So like even yeah. when I was playing freelance survival, um, I had the queue. Like whenever we were doing, like so back 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 when I used to play Destiny two, like we used to do like competitive carries, like get people to like, fabled mm-hmm. or legend or whatever, and we, like it was it was like insane because when we like you know you know like Toxfix like when we queued as like a duo, um. It would always be like a sweat fest. Like I had, we had to try our asses off. And then when we, whenever we were doing like the comp carries, it was just easy. Like I was hitting like clips every single game, every single round basically. Like we were just like trading, like who who was just having a montage. And yeah. that was that was when I knew I was like, okay, there's definitely there's definitely like a hidden MMR system. But I haven't played Cold War. You've never touched Cold War? No, I haven't played a COD since BO2. For real? Yeah, for real. Oh my gosh. I don't know. BO2 is the peak. That that was some nice ass shit, dude. Oh yeah. Like the jetpacks and all, like it's it's okay. I like it. I like it. I I, I stand advanced movement one hundred percent. I mean, advanced movement is good. I just didn't like how the game played, like yeah. the guns, like the gunplay wasn't as good in my opinion. I feel like Advanced Warfare was a really good COD, and then Black Ops Three, like the like the jetpack in that game was like eh, and then Infinite Warfare was like, you know, yeah, because that's because like it, it like progressively became like less of like a jetpack and more of like a float. Yeah. Because AW was like it was like a, your jetpack was like a thrust high key. Yeah. Just like thrust, it really was. Like thrust into like gunfights and shit like that, but then Black Ops Three and Infinite Warfare. Or like you kind of just like hover in the ground, and you have to like you have to like you have to like wall run into a yeah wall you have to wall run into like a um into your jetpack right or something like that, and that's how you get like the, <clears throat> the movement. I don't know. I just hope with esports, like everything just gets better. Everything. What are your like? What are your like biggest top three? What are your like top three top three problems in esports right now? Um, for COD, 
Like the cheaters. It's just like, why, dude? Like, why? Like, if you have to cheat to be like a pro or amateur team, like, why are you playing? Like, that just takes the skill out of everything. Yeah. But like, other than COD, like, Halo, just like the whole face it thing and like, lands not being a thing is just really rough. And then, I don't know, like a third, I think. Um, it's not not much of like a game issue, but like a social issue. It's just like harassment in gaming and esports. Oh yeah, just the stuff I see on my Twitter every day. It's just like, oh my god. It, it it's bad. Like, it's people like, it's are really just bad. Like I get, you know, like you know, every esports title, like Halo, COD, like they're all gonna be toxic. No matter what. But like how far people go is just much worse than it was in the past. Yeah. I mean like you 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 probably heard like the Sinatra story on Twitter, right? I believe so. Yeah, that was like yikes. That was a yikes. If if it's true. Um Yeah. Which you know, like I think at the like like the way I hate to make it political, but I think like at the moment right now I like like kind of believe like the victim, just because she has like evidence and shit, you know, like mm -hmm. it's like hard to just kind of brush that aside. But you know they're doing like their investigation and like, um, it's definitely more comprehensive than like whatever I could do. So yeah. Oh yeah. So for the Halo scene, what do you think about like? Like last summer, like there was a lot of tweets going around about pro players, you know, harassing and abusing oh, women. Yeah, it was like Demon D and then Oxide. Demon right? D, Den Oxide, and Sabinator. What are yeah, your opinions? Sab, Sab was did Sab harass? I thought he used like racial slurs. I thought that was why he kind of got like um, that. Sab, he was texting. Some, I don't know if it was like an e girl or just like. I feel like it was, like it was one of like the like the big female like Halo players like uh, like I want to say like Queen or someone I don't know. I don't think it was Queen. Well, he was just like trying to force sexual activity, and the the girl just wasn't having it. And then I heard that. He tried getting nudes from a minor. Oh, yeah. And I actually know that person in real life, and it's just sad. It's oh, sickening. in real life, too. That's... Yeah. That's... Okay. Went to a couple lands together. It's just like... Why? Yeah. And then with Demon D, he... He's accused of, like, sexual harassment, right? And then... Yeah. Who, 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 one... Who's the other person? The Noxide. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. see, I never got like a good vibe from him, at all. Like ever. I don't know if you feel the same way. I don't Dan, know. he's a friend of mine. Um, I don't condone what he did at all. But I don't know. Like the situation is really weird. Like can't really say like something about it without like being judged or cancelled mm. yeah but if, but if he truly has changed as a person then you know people deserve chances so yeah know. but like I don't know I think so too it, it, but at the same topic. time at the same time it's like how much until like they don't deserve oh, yeah, it, is, it is a weird topic like, it's very political in nature I guess um, yeah, but yeah, I, I think like, yeah, top three problems like cheating in esports. That's horrible. Sexual harassment, horrible. And then I guess like, I guess you could say racism. Yeah, racism. That's that's been happening a lot recently too. Oh right? yeah, definitely. Did you hear about uh, Rapton? Uh, I yeah, he. I I don't know exactly what he did, but. I, I heard some bad things. 
He just said the hard R a bunch of times, and oh, Jesus. Just... it's just sad to hear that. Yeah, and I remember um, what's his what's his face? He's a big streamer. Um, Cloaksy maybe no. He plays with Myth. What's his name? I'm not sure. I've been. I have no clue. I don't know. Some some like big Warzone streamer. He he apparently said it too. And like there was like a clip attached and like Myth Myth like defended him and said he didn't say it. But I was like I like I was listening to the clip and it was like there's there's no way that like we were just ignoring this, right? Cuz it was like it was like clear. I don't know. I just feel like there's not a lot of humble people in the esports community. Yeah. Not enough, not I enough. should say. It's interesting because, like, just looking at Halo, right? Like, I'd say, like, all the Sen people are, like, pretty humble. Um, Everyone on the Cloud9 knows what they're doing. They're not, like, idiots. Mm -hmm. Um, Trippy, Boo Boo. Ola, people like that, that like, I think those are like the role models you, you should be looking up to, but like, I feel like Shotzi's also another one, like he's really humble. Mm -hmm. But he, I, I don't consider really him a young. Halo, I don't consider him a Halo player anymore, just because he's doing his thing in COD, you know, world champion. I mean, like he's Once on a Halo player, always a Halo player. That is true, that is true. That Hook, is Halo Kid, Neptune, Halo Kid, Frosty, Halo Kid. Wait, but Hook, Hook started oh. in he started in college. Well, still, still, still. <laughs> Once a Halo Pro, always a Halo okay, Pro. Okay, okay, I see. I, I, I get you. I get you. <laughs> it's actually crazy, like to think about, like I don't know. They're just like performing at such a high level, like wherever they go, like Snipe Down winning on TSM for Apex. Oh yeah. Like Neptune, Neptune's like this S and D like wizard on Florida Shotzi world champion. Um. I don't know. It, it's it's crazy. Like that. Like we're just built different. That's all I can say. We are just built different. Hook was gonna go. He was gonna go play Valorant, dude. Imagine. That's insane. <laughs> I think Baby J is competing in Valorant, low key. But he's also the, yeah. But he's also on the Halo Three Pro, or like her Halo Infinite Pro team. So I don't know how that works. Wait, he's coming back to Halo? No, he he's on the pro team, like the the oh, the three four three oh, pro the, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot, I was gonna say like wasn't he on the three four three team? Yeah. Are you allowed to like compete in like other esports when you do that? Or I mean technically I know I know the rules, like you can't compete in the Halo that you helped dev for like the yeah. first three years or something. Um I mean, it's a job, like a full-on job, so I don't see why not. I don't know. But yeah. Hopefully, because, like, the big issue with 343 is they just don't listen, but, like, hopefully they actually take into consideration what the pro team has to say. Like, if you're not listening to West Clutch, I don't, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I feel like... With them announcing the pro team and having them work on multiplayer, that was, that was a pretty big step. I mean, honestly. yeah, but at the same time, like, this is, like, coming, I guess, like, from, from, like, Neighbor and people like that who were on the pro team in the past. It's just, like, even though they gave input, it's up to, like, the three, it's up to, like, the management to, like, decide whether they want to incorporate that feedback or not. And a lot of times that feedback was just completely disregarded. Like, wow. with, with Halo 5, um... Quinn, um, he apparently like <laughs> so funny. Like Snakebot was telling me the story. Apparently, they wanted like on Coliseum, the like, Coli CTF. They wanted to put two binary rifles on every single map, <laughs> and <laughs> it was it was bad, dude. And there's always like a joke that like, because Quinn is like lead sandbox now. There's like a joke that like Halo and Finn's gonna be like binary rifle and like Spartan laser starts or some shit. 
That would be funny. Honestly, as long as it's a new game. That is true. Like, I would play that. I would play that. How long? I don't know. But I, I, I just want something new right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly. Like, I've been... <laughs> I've been playing, you know, like, Genshin Impact? Mm-hmm. Dude, I've been... I've been grind. Like, I've been on the RPG grind. Like... I don't know. Halo Five is fun. Like I'll, I'll go back to it and like shoot around, just cause like you wanna like I wanna keep my thumbs intact for Infinite. But like, mm. there's only so much H Five you can play. Oh yeah. Before you just like I've been doing this for like six years. Come on. <laughs> and I don't know. Genshin is that game. It's addicting. I've been playing a lot of Minecraft, honestly. Oh, yeah. I feel like a lot of people have been like, like the, you know, like the GTA roleplay. Rust, uh, Minecraft, yeah. like a lot of people are going back to like those those kind of games. Valheim, like those. I started playing D two again. D two. What do you think right now of like? What do you think right now? Yeah. With the whole Beyond Light update, there's a lot of pros and cons. Like cons, you know, stasis in the Crucible. <laughs> so horrible it's, it's so bad. horrible like it's so man. broken it's so bad it's you could really so... oh my god oh yeah definitely it's horrible but like with snipers there's really only like two good snipers in the game like adored which is like remaster of the beloved beloved however you say it yeah and the eye of soul yeah Charles, and yeah I, I so i used to so when i i played like it, what was like the the season right before Beyond Light came out that got extended? Mm. So I I was like that was like my prime I guess of D two, um and I I I used Eye of Soul. I think like, the role was like um, quick draw opening shot. That's like what you want to have or like snapshot opening shot something like that. Mm. Um, I think I yeah awesome. some something like that. That's that's the play. I don't like how they completely like. Changed the hand cannon sandbox. Like, there's no more 150s. They brought all the 150s to 140. Except for Sunshot. Uh, yeah, except for Sunshot. But, like, I don't mind it too much. It's just, like, I can't run faster with lightweight frame. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, completely yeah. gone. Yeah. And then, like, apparently, the nerf traction, too. Yeah. But apparently, 120s are the move now. Like, Duke. Duke is really good. Right? Steady hand. Yeah. But they're good, but I don't know. I'd like personally I'd rather go with the one forty. Like I promise all day. What was the uh Waking Vigil? I used to run that shit. The Waking Vigil, that's pretty good. Yeah. The uh the Austrian is also really good oh, in the Austrian. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I remember that gun. I got a I had a ass roll. I never could get like a god roll beloved either. But then I have a god roll beloved and uh Austrian on my main. But uh I changed accounts, so uh, I don't have any of that good stuff anymore. But I have Fell Winters now, so You do? Wait, so yeah. after for Fell Winters, did they ever like give like a chip? Because I know like there was like that one week where you could get it and then after that no one could ever get it again. Did they have like, changed they that? Put it, they put it in the exotic vault. So everybody has a fell winters and it's really, really, really bad. But Excellent. <laughs> that is, that, that yeah. is awful. But that shit gets sunset really like is. next season, right? Oh wait, no, I lied. It's not going to because I forgot that they sunset sunsetting. Yeah. <laughs> so strange how that works. Yeah. Um good luck playing the rest of Destiny 2's lifespan with Fell Winters. Oh man, I need Destiny Three and Halo Infinite. Then I'll be a happy boy. If Destiny Three, um, there's so many problems with D Two Crucible. Like the sandboxing is just ass all the time. I don't know. I, it started like year four of D One, and ever since then, like mm-hmm. the sandbox has just been awful. Um, except like okay, don't don't hate me for this, but the first like season or whatever first year of destiny 2 where it was primaries only i was rocking mm. that shit i was a god like yeah. no one could touch me like my gun skill is just better i understand that but 
They made the game play faster. Like, D2 now plays way faster than D1 ever did. It was like, van- yeah, it grew stash. Yeah, vanilla, D- vanilla D2 was like the slowest. Then it's like D1 and then whatever D2 is now. Uh, I could argue Stompy's make or break. Yeah, but Stompy's weren't there. Stompy's only got introduced when, um, like, Warmind, the Warmind expansion. That, that really? Happened. I thought they were, oh, I remember, when I f- like, like, day one, I remember getting Stompy's. Oh, day no. one? Dang. I'm not sure. It's been a while. Yeah, I remember, like, for PvE... Here's the one one of the pros for like Destiny Two. The PVE is so good, it is so mm-hmm. good. Like some repetitive things aside, they do a really good job of introducing new content every I mean, single it's season. Spongy, what can you say? Yeah, like everything is so interesting. Like it makes me want to come back to the game. Like I remember like the first season of after, like when Beyond Light launched. Uh, like the, uh, first of all, the campaign was cool as shit. And then they, they mm-hmm. introduced like aspects and it like kind of reminded me of like an old school RP like the kind of RPGs that I really like. That so yeah. that was really cool. Um and then like they introduced like the lure, that was really cool. Um and now they're doing like the storyline where it's like you're fighting the cabal in like different battlegrounds. I think that's dope. Um yeah. so a PvE is just is always super interesting. There's always it'll I don't know. How would you feel if D2 got, like, an official, like, esports scene. Um, I mean, here's the thing. I don't think it's viable, so uh, it wouldn't go well, in my opinion. But, I mean, good good for them. I think, like, it has, there's always potential, like, mm-hmm. I think, like, with the movement. Um, oh, yeah, the movement. The movement makes, really good. it introduces a skill back, it, skill gap, it's nice. The gunplay, like, it feels good. The only problem is you can't really have it's it's I almost say can't, but it's very difficult to have an esport when you have like all this broken shit in the game. Like mm-hmm. Stasis is so good right now. Um Icarus Dash like if you're not like Icarus Dash is by far the best movement in the game. Um like things like Worm Husk are still really, really good. Um there's all this like small, like broken shit. Like there's always something that's like too good you know uh, yeah and that too many matters yeah and that that ruins the game that ruins the esports potential what if they had like a set like i don't know like a set like load out it'd have to be like like, like snipers with like if they, they had to have like like if, if d2 esports existed it would be like um like, the movement, first of all, has to be, like, scaled so that it's balanced. Because Warlocks easily have the best movement in the game right now. Yeah. Um, followed by Hunters, and then Titans kind of just got shafted. Um, they need to be able to, like, standardize, like... Like, they, like instead of supers being timed, like... like, like it could be know, a pickup, like, like, heavy. Yeah, like... but, like, even then, like, if you... If, if the number of kills you get... And not time determines how much like your super energy. Like I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think like grenade cooldowns, like ability cooldowns, have to be standardized. Like you can't have like armor that like increases discipline, armor that in- like it has to be very very like standardized. Because some people are gonna have like these stupid broken rolls where they like throw like five grenades like every five seconds, and mm-hmm. it's gonna be like stupid OP. Like and like it's basically cheesing PvP. Like stuff like that can't happen if like Yeah. You want an actual esport. So I think like making that kind of set. And then yeah, I agree. Like you know like pinnacle weapons, like those shouldn't exist. Like they like straight yeah. up shouldn't exist. And exotic perks as much like even though they're very unique, like they shouldn't be allowed in the esport either. Because Mm-mm. everything should be curated. Yeah. And there should be like a set like obviously no one's gonna like bring ARs. Oh no. But like I think if it if it's like everyone has to use like a hand cannon. Uh hand cannon and shotgun sniper pickup. Yeah. Could be a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that'd be like if they brought back like special ammo like boxes, that would be yeah. interesting. 
And then also they need more like game types than just elimination. Elimination and survival are the two most like boring fucking game types. That, like maybe oh, just because yeah. I like I've been playing them, but like elimination is is it, it's literally like it puts me to sleep when I watch that gameplay. It's the same thing. You just wait for a pick, um, from like your shotgun or sniper player, and then um, and then like just push. And then if you if you if you get picked, all you have to do is out rotate, win a gunfight, and then like try to like play for the res or bait bait the res. Like it, it's like the mindset, like the brain on how to play Destiny is the easiest shit ever. It is yeah, so 100%. easy, and you know like you need more game types. Like bring back um, like with some right to with some with some tune ups. I think like um, shoot, what's it called? Countdown, countdown would be really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, if countdown control, but like tweaked a lot. If control, if control was like strongholds. Oh yeah, 100%. that would be really fun. That would be really instead fun. of getting a kill, and then like your score going up with like how many caps you have, it would be like a continuous like we're like king of the hill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. That would be dope. And then I think they like definitely need some kind of like CTF game mode. Like Rift, Rift and D two, or Rift and D one. That was really fun. That was a yeah. lot of fun. Um, and then you know maybe they bring back like elimination for, like like maybe elimination to Destiny is a like Slayer to Halo. Like no one wants to play Slayer, but like no, it's just like synonymous with the game. You know, like Game Five Slayer. That's like the shit. Like forty nine point nine Game Five Slayer. So like maybe elimination can be that for Destiny, but like I, I honestly don't like elimination. Every single game type is just like yawn. It's just so yeah. boring. So you need game types, and you know like that kind of like leaves me like I was gonna ask you about this. Like trials is so boring. It's so bad right now. One hundred percent because it's one map every week. You just do it over and over and over and over and over again. It's just like wow. The rewards are ass. So there's not even an incentive to play, other than like the what what the new hand cannon like Igneous Forge or whatever it's called. Apparently that's really good hand cannon. Yeah. But other than that, like there's no like rewards because you're not guaranteed to get it. Mm-mm. Um. So it just like the, the entire reward system is just awful. So that's part two. Part three. There's still no like anti cheat, and there's cheaters like every other game. Which, like Bungie said, they quote unquote fixed, but like that still hasn't happened. And yeah, then, no. Um, part four, like like I said uh, before with the esport, if you want a competitive game mode, you need to make it competitive. Like I, I like this cheesing bullshit. Like I know a lot of people who love that. Like Toxfix, he's like a top five hundred player on Xbox now. He he loves it. He he like loves Destiny two because of the abilities, and you can outplay people with abilities. But they like a, I don't know, I'm fine with that. But like the abilities need to be standardized. Like I, like the cheese shit needs to just go away, and everything needs to be balanced way better. But that that's like my four takeaways. I don't know if you agree. I pretty much agree. But yeah, and I think the lore for Destiny Two they do a really good job. Like, hundred percent. The story the story is amazing, but like, come on! Like PVP players have been getting shafted for the past three. Two years. Yeah. Yeah. And the worst thing, they decided to bring Trials back when the meta was the most forgiving. Because that was when the meta was 140 RPM hand cannons. Um, like the 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 heavy frame, the slow firing like fr- pulse. And then mm-hmm. 600 RPM auto rifles. And oh, the knocking hunger is so horrible. I remember, like, <laughs> it, was, it was funny because, like, so, I, like, I had hard light, so I, I would kind of, like, bully people with hard light, and then I got a summoner, um, or no, I, I switched to Galliard, because, like, you could get Galliard from, like, a forge, and so mm-hmm. I just grind forges over and over again, got a Galliard, and, um, even though it didn't have a good roll, it was easily the best gun in the game, like, by far, and then I got a god roll summoner when they, when, when they, like, and they released it, and I was like, "There's like, there's no way this gun exists. It like just doesn't move. It's a laser." And so I don't know. It was just like the meta was just easy. 
But shit that made it annoying that season, Mountaintop. That was... Mountaintop, oh my oh, goodness. God. Hard Light, Mountaintop, Long yeah. Hunger, that was dark time. Long Hunger, at least, uh, it like, there's there's a downside. Like, like the range isn't as good. And, like, I think the best summoner beats the best Long Hunger. Because, like, my summoner had Rangefinder and Dynamic Sway. It's not... Oh it's my not, god. The reticle is not moving. Like, I, I click the trigger, and it's just going straight. Um, so in color balance stock? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. See, like, that, that, that summoner is not, like, it, it, it's, 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 in, it's crazy. That was the second best gun in the game that season. Because if you got a Galliard with Rangefinder and, um, and Dynamics Way, it was over. Like, that gun had easily the best handling with rangefinder it had the best range like it, it was just a laser and see that's the thing that like like there's no skill gap in like the shooting right and mm -hmm. when people put on mountaintop there's no skill gap in that either same thing with like bastion Jumping. yeah you just jump yeah. and then like fucking shoot or like you slide in and fucking shoot or you just hold the trigger and like post up and you fucking shoot that takes away the skill gap definitely but I was cracked with the sniper. Like when I played D two, I had like a ninety five percent accuracy or some shit like that. Yeah. I was, I was kind of cracked, lucky. But yeah, let's transition to some some more esports. So all D League, um, stage two starts this weekend. What do you think of stage one? Like the, you know, phase kind of dominating everyone. I wasn't really surprised, honestly. Um. I felt like, I don't know, like, I, you know, I'm a Shotzi stan, like, what can I say? Yeah. Like, I'm always rooting for Dallas, but I feel like the Mutineers had a lot of potential. I think, 100%. I think they, um, something just didn't click, and then they got better, like, by the major. I think they'll, they'll get back to, like, their, like, a good, a good form, like, as the 100%. season goes on. What do you think about Optic? Uh, I don't really follow too much uh, COD, but there are some pretty good things about them. Yeah. I think it's interesting. I have a very love-hate relationship with Optic and, and the fans. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. Like, Optic... Uh, it's a very slay heavy team. Like their their respawns are really good. It just seems like, like at least recently, um, they've always been like choking like these big. Like something just does it just doesn't go their way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like after they won Vegas, they lose composure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um. Like after they won Vegas, they uh. I think the like the very next tournament they got like top twenty four or some or top twelve or some shit like that, and then they get like third, and then they get like eighth, and then they get like third at champs again, or something. Mm -hmm. Just not like I don't know the consistency isn't there. That's that's it. Mm -hmm. And I think even now like they're them, where optic is like they're like arguably the most consistent that they can that they've ever been right because they have. Um, Dashi, who's just like an insane talent, Envoy, who is like very consistent in terms of like search and de like search and destroy and like making plays, and then Scump has like stayed consistent, and then Formal is also like a very consistent player. Even with that like roster, I don't know. Something just seems like I don't picture them winning an event. Yeah. Maybe I don't know if that's just like my bias or if it's just like phase is phase and Dallas are just so good that I just don't see them losing. I mean, you might never know. I don't know. It's interesting, but the schedule is the schedule. Is, the schedule of this um this week is nice. Like you start out with phase 
versus New York, which is going to be an interesting match. Um, then Seattle versus Florida. I have Florida winning that. Um, then on Friday, we do Toronto versus Thieves, which will be interesting considering they both didn't really play that well in the major. And Toronto benched Methods. So that'll be pretty interesting. Mm. Um, Minnesota versus Paris. I'm not really sure what to expect. Minnesota underperformed, but at Paris. Um, then Saturday, Paris versus Optic. I have Optic taking that. Um, Minnesota mm-hmm. versus Florida will be interesting again to see. And then Seattle versus Dallas. Dallas should stomp. <laughs> and then going into Sunday, some more interesting matches. Like we have London, who's been making roster changes against LAG. Um, and then like the marquee matchup is like New York versus Thieves. And I think that's like a very interesting rivalry right now. Mm-hmm. But yeah. One thing I wanted to ask you about, what do you think about snaking? Like, what are your thoughts? Snaking? Yeah. What do you mean by that? So, you know, in COD, like, um, if, it's it's really weird, because like, in, like, you know how like you can crouch strafe? Like, in, mm-hmm. in, in Halo 5, people have just like spam their crouch button. Yeah. In COD, like people do that same thing, but they do it like on head glitches, and so apparently, it's like really frowned upon, and um, it like apparently just gives everyone an unfair advantage, and like so so phase like you know Celium on phase apparently snakes a lot, Diamond Con on Diamond Con on New York snakes a lot, um, and a lot of pros have been complaining that they snake, and for the lo- for a long time like there was like a GA against snaking, but then like. For some reason, last year and this year, like everyone has started snaking again. Like a lot of young players have been start have been starting to snake, and it's like it's it's really looked down upon. But I'm not really, I don't know. What do you think? Um. Well, if the CDL doesn't want to apply the rule that they can't do that, it's a personal choice. Like if you want to be frowned upon for doing that, that's your choice. Yeah. Just seems kind of lame that like like people do that. It's sort of the same thing like with star glitching on Halo Five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just like they manipulate parts of the game to make them survive way easier. Just really lame, mm-hmm. in my opinion. And you know, I remember this. This is it's not as big a thing as anymore. But um, like late twenty twenty, there was like the the odd ball glitch where you could one shot people with the ball. Yes. Oh my um, god. That is fucking annoying. It is frustrating. It really is. And apparently you have to like melee and shoot at the same time, but I tried it and it doesn't work for me. Uh no, you melee and drop it the, like on melee, the same frame. Melee and drop. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So I was like I was like meleeing and shooting and I was like well, why the fuck isn't this working? Like cuz people were doing yeah. it to me and I wanted to do it back, but it never worked. Is that still a thing in the game? Uh, yeah, it's still a thing, but no one does it in the. It's GA. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. In the, yeah. In the bracket. Same thing with star glitching. Oh, star glitching is GA. I thought it wasn't. Pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. I haven't seen anybody star glitch. The last person I saw that star glitch in attorney was Druck. Other oh, than KCP. that, I haven't. KCP, KCP also eat ball glitched. I remember, um, because they, they were, like, they, they always, like, had, like, some, like, so much shit going on with the officials, where, like, they'd, like, try to, like, replay a game because someone ball glitched or some shit like that. I, yeah. It was just really funny. <laughs> so, going into Infinite, going into Infinite, who, um, who, who are, like, your top players to watch? I'll play to watch. Yeah. Me. Me? <laughs> you? That's it. Okay. That's it. Just me. Just you? Alright. No, I'm it. kidding. I'll I'm kidding. Okay. Me. Okay. No. Honestly, players to look out for. One of my good friends, Fate. He's an absolute demon. Recently started competing this year and... Or last year, 2020. Just hopping off. Um... As for pro players, 
I believe KCP is going to be a good team to watch. I'm trying to think. There's not really... I'd say Bound would be a pretty good player to watch to see, you know. But Bound's not a can... team, right? Pretty sure he's going to be picked up. You know, it's Bound. Everyone worships him. Yeah. But does he does he even plan on going to events? Because he's like a very. I have no idea. We'll have to see. Person, right? Who do you think is the who or who do you think is the best top like out of the three top teams? Right, we have Envy, which is um, Trippy saying APG and Boo Boo or and Ola. Um, we have Sentinels, the Goat Squad, um, and then we have Cloud Nine, which is Splice plus Penguin. Out of those three, who do you think? Um, who do, who do you think is going to be the best, like in that first like year of competing? Mm. It's hard to say. Um, I already know Frost is going to do good things in Infinite, like the whole uh, you know uh, Sentinels roster. Cloud Nine. I feel like I'm not trying to downplay my boy Zane Penguin at all, but I feel like when Shotsu's on the team, their teamwork was just hundred percent better. So like once you know Penguin like adapts to the new team and they all learn from each other and get like beyond comfortable, like they're gonna do some work hundred percent. Yeah, I think it's interesting because I remember. Dreamhack Denver Penguin was teaming with them on Liquid, and then obviously you have like a year of like uh, of Shotzi and John playing with Stellar and Nico, and then you get that like core three, and then you take out Shotzi and you add Penguin. So I feel like the game has evolved so much since like they've teamed. Like there's definitely like a bit of that like, chemistry catching up to do, I guess. Mm hmm. Hundred percent. Yeah. What about Envy? What do you think? I think Envy's gonna do good things. Saying he's he's a really sophisticated player. What do you mean? Like I'm pretty sure he watches streams. Like he's just he plays so well every single game, and like every single play he makes like connects. It's just crazy to see. He's like the strategist of like any team he plays on. Yeah. So I I don't know. They're also gonna be really good. But I don't know. Sain has had like a bit of a reputation recently as like an onliner. Do you think like that's true? False? Um I wouldn't say that because I believe you got top two. Um I don't remember which event. Uh, Dreamhack. Oh, I just remember. Um, Dreamhack Atlanta 2018. Yeah. He was obviously, you know, good enough to get top three, so... I wouldn't really say that he's an all-liner. Do you think he's going to, like, win a chip, though? That, I think that's, like, the, that's like the question. Will, will he win an event? You know, like... It's hard to say with Infinite because there's going to be so many teams and people just grinding so much. We never know who could be on top. Yeah. Um, all I can say is we, we just have to wait. Yeah, for sure. I, I'll i give my slightly biased prediction now. Um, but I, like, you know, it's, it's hard to not bet against Sentinels because... Yeah. Like... I'll be the one to say it. like so the story like behind 2018 was um so they didn't play for three months at, like until like they didn't play at all until like the world's tour was announced um because mm -hmm. they thought DreamHack Atlanta 2017 or DreamHack Denver was the last event of Halo 5 like period and they thought they were going back to Halo 3 and so mm -hmm. they didn't practice at all for like two or three months and they still were consistent top one top two team in the game yeah that is scary they like, they don't practice right now and there's still a consistent top one top two team in the game 
hundred percent. And you know, like when the passion comes back, because like, like if you look at like Snake Bite, like other than Frosty, who is playing Halo Five consistently on that team? No one. Yeah. So, if you look at them all playing together again, um, like, and they're all like grinding like they used to in like 2015, 2016. I think that's scary. Like, like you remember in 2015, like, CLG was the meta. Like, oh, definitely, hundred percent. I feel like that. Like, there, like, there's a very high chance that that happens again, and. Teams just don't know how to like counter it for like the first year. Like I said earlier, you never know what could happen. And there's you know, there's like new players, like yeah, even like that's right true. now in the online. There's so many younger players stepping into the scene with the of Halo Esports. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, you just may never know what could happen. You never know, yeah, that is true. But yeah. It's exciting to look forward to. Like Who's gonna, be, who's, so gonna be, ready. who's gonna be the next Frosty or the next Shotzi? Who's just like the next like superstar, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. And if you know, if like they add like a battle royale too, I think that that's gonna drive the player base through exactly. the roof. Like esports will be in a good spot. Like the actual 100%. game will be in a good spot. Like it'll it'll be it'll be nice. Even if like you know, like the problems with like. Like, you have, like, Warzone and Modern Warfare. Like, two separate games. Like, because Warzone is a Modern Warfare, it'll still bring, like, a lot of viewership and revenue to, you know. God as a whole. Yeah, God as a whole. So, like, you know, Halo Infinite drops, you know, and then they drop a Battle Royale. The amount of attention that's going to go to Halo is going to be immense. And like those those viewers who are like watching like the BR tournaments and stuff like that, it's gonna like carry over to like the actual esport itself, right? And like we've seen yeah. it with 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 COD here, like people who watch Warzone are like starting to watch like the YouTube stream and stuff like that. And I don't know. Hopefully, if if like Halo can do that, I think like we're we'll be like officially we'll, we'll officially be back. You know what I'm saying? Hundred percent, yeah. And like something I've been thinking about recently is like. You know, Ninja X Pro Halo player. Like he's a pretty big following, not as much as he used to. But if he, you know, if Halo made a battle rail and he jumps onto that, you know, and then let's say Ninja wants to come back and compete again, that's gonna bring so much viewership. Like, it's gonna be insane. Yeah, and then even you like... get people like Shroud, Tfue playing. It's just gonna be a big giant vibe. Yeah, and I like like people like Nick Merck's Courage. Like they've all said, if there was a Halo Battle Royale, that is all they would be playing, mm-hmm. and that that makes me excited. Like, not 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 just that, like oh, Battle Royale's here, but like that the big people are actually acknowledging it as like a game that they want to play. Mm-hmm. That's that's the exciting part to me. All right then. Um. It was it was it was it was a blast getting to pick your pick your brain about like all these topics, man. It's been a while since we've talked, you know. Um, of course, really. Yeah, it's good catching up. You have any shout outs that you wanna um, announce to oh, the shout world? Out. Shout out to Seattle Serpents. They're a go org. There's gonna be some good stuff coming from them soon, so stay tuned. For sure. Shout um, out to my man Avocados for. Letting me be a part of his podcast. Hey, no problem, brother. It's the least I could do. You're day one. You know the vibes. Sir. But yeah, um, you know, that's going to be it for this episode. I think this is episode five, I want to say. You got a whole series? Might have to check that out. Yes, sir. Um, funny thing. Um, I'll, I'll tell you, all, like, off stream, but like, the progression is very interesting, but but yeah, um, but yeah, guys, uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, be sure to follow um, Jello's social media, um, which I'll link in the description. Um, and yeah, have a great day. 
Um, I'll see you guys next week for the next episode. I'll also be dropping some Genshin Impact content soon because uh, the new update just launched. So um, expect some updates on uh, the story um, and just some like Let's Plays and like uh, definitely for sure a giant Wish video. It'll be pretty cool. Um, so make sure you uh, hit the bell, turn notifications on, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.